Today, I've got NBA 2K23, NBA 2K13, and NBA 2K3, a representation of the NBA across three separate decades and three separate eras. I've also got this big old racetrack with 10 spots on it and room for six teams. I chose the teams for today's video using one simple criteria. They have to be a contender or close to it in at least two of the three separate eras. And why don't y'all say hello to the Lakers, Spurs, and Mavericks from the West, as well as the Celtics, Bucks, and Heat from the East. Hey, what's up? As you'd expect, the first team to advance 10 spots and reach the finish line wins. I've got 16 total criteria that teams can use to advance a spot. Of course, they can only do each one once. Additionally, I've got these teams competing within a time frame. I'll be advancing two seasons on NBA 2K3, then two seasons on NBA 2K13, then two final seasons on 2K23. And one final thing. Each season, I'll give our six teams three different chances to earn an upgrade. Upgrades today are super simple. It's a plus five overall boost to a player of my choosing from the team which earns said upgrade. And here's how the upgrades will be unlocked. Step one of upgrade one, we are randomizing this list of our teams. We're looking for the first four names and the first randomization gives us Bucks, Spurs, Heat, Celtics. Very interesting because those four teams will now have a chance to compete one dunk in an NBA Live 05 dunk contest. Whoever wins gets an upgrade. Again, only one dunk, one round. Let's go. The Bucks are the easy favorite for me. Desmond Mason is really good. He's one of the featured dunkers in this game. Let's see what he's got. Oh, that's a far take. Oh, that was smooth. Inverted windmill, reverse 180. I don't know. I just said a whole bunch of words, but long story story short, he gets a 48. On the lowest of keys, they're always looking to give out 50s in this live 05 dunk contest. Manu off noggin through left. <laughs> That's Manu? That's a, if the judges aren't smoking something, that is a 50. Oh my, we're like the Spurs need help. This is second year Dwayne Wade for the Miami Heat. You got a match, brother. That is, that's so basic, Dwayne. Why are you punching the sky? Remember when you robbed Aaron Gordon, Dwayne Wade? Yeah, we don't forget, bro. Representing the Celtics, Ricky Davis, former teammate of LeBron with the Cleveland Cavaliers. That is a nice, to, oh boy, that's gonna be a 50, isn't it? And it is indeed a 50. However, because we don't want this to take forever, I'm gonna be the final deciding judge between two dunks if we get a tiebreaker and I say Manu wins and I don't think y'all would disagree. Our second upgrade is coming courtesy some March Madness, baby. I've got a March Madness bracket with updated rosters to the current day, you know, if you're into some college hoops and whatever college wins, we're going to look at which city of our six teams in this competition it's closest to and that team will get an upgrade. It's all left up to chance and we've got Virginia and Duke in the national championship. Virginia, the one seed, yeah. This might be a little bit of trouble for our Duke Blue Devils who upset, never mind. I also don't know American geography or where colleges are located. Duke is here. Looks like honestly in between Boston, Milwaukee and Miami. Duke is apparently just over a 12 hour drive down to Miami. Okay. It is a 13, just under 14 hour drive to Pfizer Forum in Milwaukee. All right. They're out of it. And up to Boston, Massachusetts, 10 hours, 43 minutes. Yo, I thought it was going to be Miami, but it is indeed Boston. Shout out to Duke and to the Celtics. And the third and final way we're doling out upgrades is by going back to NBA 2K11 with their really, really cool feature scenario mode. Uh, Pass J was actually called situation, not scenario, but I'm gonna let you cook. Each scenario is gonna be the same tied at 120 with two minutes left in the fourth quarter. No timeouts left, nothing like that. Home team gets the ball. And I'm simply doing one randomization. The team at the top of the list is the home team. The next team is the one they'll be facing. Oh, the Mavericks get ball against the Spurs. Okay. Bro, if the Spurs can win this, they're gonna be absolutely stacked. And they're already stacked in 2K3. Was that Brendan Haywood with a jumper? The Mavs might be dominating this. Yeah, good feed inside. Good feed. And what? And what? Here it is. Here it is. Yeah, go to Dirk. Bro, teams were actually smart in 2K11. Dirk's making that over Richard Jefferson. Genius AI. Remember, I said it to no timeout, so I'm really curious how they use the clock here or if they use it well. Manu, that's easy finish. You got to get something clutch here, San Antonio. Oh, Richard Jefferson, he just got blocked. Dirk in the clutch on the defensive end in Dallas. They're going to survive. And welcome to season one of our video here on NBA 2K3. Yep, the L. LA Lakers have 98 overall Shaq, 96 Kobe, no upgrades for season one, but they might not need This it. is definitely not one of the years I thought the Heat were competitive with Alonzo Mourning, Eddie Jones. They might be a fringe playoff team. And the Bucks, lest we not forget, still had Ray Allen ahead of the 0203 season. Sam Cassell's an 84. Tim Thomas is an 80. They are a threat. The Spurs roster is surprisingly not that great. I mean, Tim Duncan is amazing, but David Robinson is old. Tony Parker is only a 75 after I applied his plus five boost from that Manu Duncan. 
talent contest. Speaking of upgrades, the Mavericks are loaded in this game. I took Dirk up from a 91 to a 96. They also have Michael Finley, Steve Nash, Nick Van Exel. And I can't believe what I've done, ladies and gentlemen. The Celtics, um, they have the new best player in the game. I gave plus five overall to Paul Pierce because, I don't know, I thought it would be funny. So uh, there we go. I don't know if it'll help them win, but here we are. And with season one on our books, we got a lot of action on our racetrack. Dallas won 59 games. The Lakers won 64, a league best. San Antonio 43. They should be in the playoffs. Back in the East, Boston led the way well behind Detroit, but they had 50 wins. The Heat had 36 and Milwaukee had 41. I think Miami's our only missed playoff team. Looking at the league leaders, my word, what have I done? Dirk averaged 31 a game. Paul Pier Why does it say he's on the Spurs? Oh my, no, wait, there's no- Duncan's on the Celtics. The Spurs traded Tim for Paul Pierce. This is chaos. This is chaos. These aren't the same teams anymore. Bro, the Celtics are now Tim Duncan, Antoine Walker, and Ron Artest. The Spurs, meanwhile, Paul Pierce, uh, 82. How did David Robinson get up to an 82 overall? I did not see this coming. Highest scoring team points per game wise. That is a spot to acquire. And we've got five of six teams in the playoffs. The only team that fell out was indeed the Miami Heat. Wow. Wow. Bro, the plot continues to thicken. Paul Pierce beat out Dirk for MVP and he does so for the Spurs. Just for fun, all NBA first looks like that. Bro, Jamal Mashburn? What? Baron Vince, Latrell, KJ, Latrell Sprewell. Yeah, I was going to say, where was Kobe Bryant? Bryant on third. Okay. Um, this first season has been chaotic to say the least. Bro, the chaos does not stop. After simulating round one, the Lakers survive. They win the series 3-2. But MVP Paul Pierce and the Spurs fell to Sacramento in a sweep. Points per game leader Dirk and the Mavericks, they lost in five to Seattle. Our Milwaukee Bucks lost by six points in game five to the Pistons to get eliminated. And Tim Duncan Celtics also out in the first round. They lost by one point in an elimination game. Bros traded Tim Duncan for Paul Pierce and it worked out for, uh, neither team. Our lone team remaining in round two was the mighty LA Lakers who were tied 3-3 game seven against the Clippers. Fortunately, the Lakers with Shaq and Kobe did hold on, but barely 10 points in a game seven, that's it. But in the conference finals, the Shaq Kobe Lakers would face off against their rival Sacramento Kings who had swept through the first two rounds of their playoff run. And in the blink of an eye, these Kings have the Lakers on the ropes. Why are they so good? Oh, because Weber's a 93 page uh, might maybe turn they're they're also deep. I, I mean, I, okay, I guess that checks out. Then I guess it shouldn't be surprising that the Kings did indeed beat our Lakers and are in the finals. Okay, then. Brother, the Sacramento Kings lost one game the entire playoff round. What? After season one, though, our leader in the clubhouse is the Lakers who have advanced five spots already. And they did so by winning 50 plus games, 60 plus games, making the playoffs, winning two rounds, and being the best team in the regular season. The Mavericks pull in at second place after year one with four spots of their own. They won 50 plus games during Dirk led the league in scoring and they led the league as a team as well. They qualified for the playoffs before being quickly eliminated. The now Paul Pierce led Spurs get two spots for making the playoffs and because Paul won MVP. The now Tim Duncan led Boston Celtics made the playoffs and won 50 plus games. So they advanced two spots. And finally, the Milwaukee Bucks, well, they advanced one spot and that was because they did qualify for the playoffs. I did say the Heat weren't really a contender in the 2K3 era, but zero spots to start. That's a little bit tough. Okay, first upgrade before season two of our simulation. I would love for Manu Ginobili to go back to back the Bucks, Heat, Mavs, Lakers. Okay. Okay, Desmond Mason, you get a shot at redemption after you got owned by Manu. I still can't believe it. And that was a little bit basic. I'm not going to lie. That dunk felt probably like a 45 or so. Oh, 40. Ooh. We got the Lakers in it, which means Kobe, be this is mid prime. Kobe's got like a 96 or a 95 dunk. I like the toss. That is creative. I, that was kind of the exact same finish as Desmond, though. Oh, but the jet, the jet, wasn't that the same finish? Anyways, Kobe gets a 50. I'm just saying, if we get another 50 dunk and it's like legitimately beautiful, I would put it over Kobe's dunk. That was kind of weak. I like it, Dwayne. I like the toss. An another reverse. Yeah. Oh, no. I got to make a tough call. Dwayne gets a 52. The Mavs did not have very many good options. Uh, do y'all remember Josh Howard? He was kind of nice for a second. That dunk was not bad. And Josh... He also got a 50. Are you kidding me, man? And this one might be hotly debated in the comment section, but I'm going with Dwayne Wade, his uh, soccer flick to himself. I'm a fan of the beautiful game, okay? Sue me. And we're back on College Hoops 2K to find our second upgrade for our second season. Let's do it. Oh, South Carolina made a run, but we've got a chalk final. Baylor versus Kansas. Place your bets now, ladies and gentlemen. Kansas, the two seed takes it home. Oh, G Dick with 33 points. More like B Dick for big. Um, oh, do we have another tough one? We have another tough. Kansas 
Kansas. University of Kansas looks like it's in between Milwaukee and it's probably closer to Dallas, but I should check. Kansas to Dallas, about seven and a half hours. Kansas to Milwaukee, just over nine. So the Mavs clinch an upgrade. These upgrades low-key get more and more fun as we go. Year two, we're going for another 2K11 scenario. The Spurs get a chance to be the home team against the Lakers. Oh, that's way too easy. Way too easy for Kobe. Come on, man. Richard Jefferson for three. He had a little bit of space there, but the Lakers with a stop. Dude, the AI played so smart on 2K11. They're going to Kobe. Every possession, that's what they should do. Looks like the Lakers are going to keep attacking. <laughs> And one. Yeah, I, I think this game is over. And we are officially on to season two, still on 2K3. Shaq actually dropped from a 98 to 97. Kobe's still in the 96. Somehow the Lakers, even though they drafted late, picked this dude, Donnie Nelson, a 77 overall small forward. He might help. The Mavericks are out of control, brother. Dirk is now a 99. I didn't make him a 99. I think he's just developed there. Thanks to Kansas winning the uh, national championship and the Mavs getting a plus five boost. I gave it to Steve Nash because I'm biased and we love Steve around here. The Spurs had a decent start in year one. They're running it back with 98 Paul Pierce. Somehow David Robinson, despite being old as you know what, is up to an 82. He improved like four overalls. I don't know. Tim Duncan still on the Celts with Antoine Walker. They picked up old man Penny, but, but, but this Boston team is not very good. Now the Bucks are super interesting because Ray is up from a 91 to a 92 and they traded old man Sam Cassell to the Pacers for Jermaine O'Neal, who's very much in his prime and very good. And bringing up the rear after season one, the Miami Heat, I gave the plus five boost earned from D Wade in the dunk contest to Alonzo Mourning. I specifically bumped his post-defense block and rebounding. Hopefully he can compete for a DPOY or leading the league in blocks or rebounds because yeah. uh, I don't think the Heat are doing anything else with this roster. Okay, and year two is in the books. We're looking at the East where the Bucks ended up being the one seed, which is kind of crazy and shout out to Miami. They barely slipped in, but they did make the playoffs. The Lakers and Mavs atop the West, uh, one and two seed. The Spurs, the fifth seed. Okay, it makes sense. In terms of actual records, we didn't have anybody hit the 60. Yo, Milwaukee. Milwaukee 55 wins. I did double check. They improved 10 wins year over year. So uh, that's a spot for them. Good job, Bucks. None of our teams ended up winning 60 plus games, but Dallas and LA tied for the best record in the league. So I'll give the Mavs some love and give them that best team in the league spot. Oh, the Bucks led the league in scoring, barely edging the Lakers and the Mavs. That's good stuff. It's really weird though. The Bucks, who was on the Bucks again? Uh, didn't they trade? They traded for Jermaine. O what the What's this motherfucker? What is happening in this video? There's no way. Dirk, no way. Straight up, straight up. Dirk for, Dirk's like, a, he's a 99 overall. I, this game is out of control, man. Dude, the second year in a row, we had an unbelievable trade shift to our challenge. Dirk led the league in scoring, of course, for the box. There you go, a stat leader. Looks like Tim Duncan had an insane season, missed the scoring title, but did lead in rebounds. What about blocks? Did, uh, did my boy Alonzo Morning? Nah, he fell short. Okay, fair enough. It's crazy. This Mavericks team, even after trading Dirk still, Still uh, ended up with the best record in the league. What is my 87 overall? Why would they make that trade? And they already have Nash and Nick Van Exel. It makes no damn sense. Also, I noticed this a bit earlier, but Tim Duncan had an insane season. However, he only played 42 games. I do have injuries on. So yeah, sorry, Boston. Oh, wow. The Lakers basically just had a status quo year, but Shaq averaged 27 and 12. Pretty good. He wins MVP. Dirk snubbed for the second straight year. I simulated round one. The Mavericks barely held on, but they do get to round two even without Dirk. The Spurs with Paul Pierce and David Robinson got swept. Wow. The Lakers did themselves some sweeping, not a surprise. I didn't realize, but the Heat and Bucks matched up with Milwaukee and Dirk. Oh my, they're on a mission. Nah, brother, the Bucks really were on a mission with Dirk Nowitzki. Snubbed of MVP, they've swept through the first two rounds of the playoffs, taking names. Meanwhile, in a shock, the Mavericks, well, not really a shock after they stupidly traded Dirk. Well, they lost to the Clippers in six and the Lakers for the second straight year get beat by Sacramento. That's got to feel good, Kings fans. The Bucks simply could not be stopped in this simulation, sweeping the conference finals. I mean, look at Dirk's numbers. He's just too good. And like a freight train that was uncontrollably rocking down the tracks, Milwaukee finally did lose a game in the finals, but a 4-1 series victory over the LA Clippers. They just dominated this season. Our leading Lakers grabbed just a single spot after season two. That came from Shaq winning MVP. The Dallas Mavericks, who were in second place, well, they also grabbed just a single spot. That came from being the best team, even after 
trading dirt. Following in that trend, the Celtics also advanced just one spot. That was thanks to Tim Duncan leading the league in rebounds. The Miami Heat are finally on the board with one spot. They qualified for the playoffs. The Spurs moved zero spots as trading for Paul Pierce did not help them. But saving the best for last, the Milwaukee But they nearly ended this challenge already advancing seven spots after season two. They won 50 plus games. They won two rounds, made the finals, won a ring, improved 10 wins year over year, had a stat leader, and were the league's highest scoring team. Man, that's a lot. On to our year three dunk contest now. We got to randomize again. I hope we only get like 150. I'm tired of making these decisions, okay? I like really want Manu to win his second slam dunk contest. It would be a fun story. Oh yeah. Yeah, there's that inverted 360 windmill. I think they gave Desmond Mason a 48 for the same dunk. Yeah, okay, a, a 46. Bro, Desmond Mason has been a huge disappointment. What is he doing? I'm literally about to replace Desmond Mason with like Joel Prisbilla or something. I, I don't know. Dwayne Wade looking to go back to back for the heat and that's, um, okay. That is a 40, 40 set. Wow. I kind of snubbed Josh Howard last time out with that in the, in the rim. His arm was in the rim, people. That's a nice toss. That's a nice finish. Give him a 50, judges. Yeah, there you go. Some life out of 50. That takes it. More college hoops for an upgrade ahead of season three. Who we got? And we got some underdogs. Texas, which would be very interesting against Purdue. Big 10, right? Yeah, I know some stuff and it is Texas that wins uh, the Longhorns. Where exactly in the state are they located? Okay, I'm going to the Texas Longhorns football stadium just to make sure I'm in the right spot. All right, let's back it out. It's in Austin. I still don't know. That's closer to San Antonio. All right, GG Spurs. And on to our season three 2K11 situation. Just don't show me the Spurs again, all right? They're 0 for 2. Oh my word. They are so freaking bad. Corey McGetty and one. Okay. The Spurs are absolutely cooked, lads. They are absolutely cooked. Remember when Brandon Jennings scored like 55 points as a rookie? That was nuts. And Corey McGetty's going prime Kobe right now. Nah, McGetty. Nah, nah. <laughs> Corey McGetty is Michael Jordan in this era. And welcome to season number three. We are now on to NBA 2K13. So many memories with this game, but that's beside the point. Look at the Milwaukee Bucks, ladies and gentlemen, who had a ridiculous season two back in 2K3 with Dirk, of course. And now all of a sudden, are they like, are they like a secret cheat code in these situations on 2K11? They had a plus five upgrade from that, which I chucked on Monte Ellis. He was already their best player at an 86, but I figure let's give him a star. They are now a 91. I don't think they will compete Pete and finish the challenge like already, but I guess you never know. Currently in second place and a threat to definitely end this challenge or at least cross the finish line early. The LA Lakers. This is the 2013 super team, ladies and gents. Dwight a 96, Kobe 94, Powell and Nash 87s. Like they are going to sim amazing. Currently at third place, we've got the Mavs. Dirk Nowitzki is back in Dallas after Josh Howard won that dunk contest moments ago. I did get a plus five upgrade. I put it on to Dirk. He was an 86 at this point in his career. I made him now a 91. Currently in four fourth place, the Celtics. This is their time to shine. This was the season before they fleeced the Brooklyn Nets like none other. Uh, Rajon Rondo, KG, Pierce, Bradley, Greet. They got a really deep team. They got enough star power. They should be pretty good. After trading away Tim Duncan straight up for Paul Pierce back in 2K3, the Spurs are way behind the eight ball. I thought they'd be a contender already, but in 2K13, they should be good. Duncan, Ginobili, Parker, Kawhi was coming off his rookie season. I gave him the plus five boost that the Spurs just earned in our upgrades portion. So yeah, they got a balanced team. And finally, bringing up the rear, the Miami Heat. I wasn't concerned about them back in 2K3 because I knew this era was coming. 99 LeBron, 94 D Wade, 83 Chris Bosh. They didn't earn any upgrades coming into the season and low key, I don't think they need it. I'm pretty sure they're going to simulate to a championship, but let's find out. And that's season three simulation with Kevin Durant winning MVP. All right, not starting good for the Heat. Uh, Dwight Howard winning DPOI. That's good for the Lakers. I thought LeBron would take home MVP. Oh my word. Brandon Jennings first team all NBA. Looks like four of our user controlled teams uh, made the playoffs. The Celtics, the Heat were only a four seed, the Lakers and the Spurs. So no Dallas and no Milwaukee, the two front runners so far. We've got some chaos though, truly after season three. So the Lakers had the best record of our bunch, but nobody hit 60 wins. Uh, only the Lakers hit the 50 win mark, which they had already accomplished. However, the Lakers led the league in points per game, which will be another spot for them. And they kind of led it by a mile. KD, Russ were the top two in scoring crazy. Dwight Howard, 
in addition to DPOY, led the league in blocks for the Lakers, who are now, well, I won't spoil it, but they're very close to crossing the finish line already. One round down, and finally, were the Heat waking up? They beat the Pacers in five, and were on to take on Chicago. Meanwhile, in the West, the Spurs might just be cursed in this video. They fell in five to Dwight Howard and the mighty LA Lakers. Oh my word. The Minnesota Timberwolves are up on the Lakers 3-1. Who is even on? They Kevin Love. I mean, he had a good season. Brandon Roy. Yes, no injuries. Uh, Nicola, this is not a good team. How are they doing this? Oh, and look at the heat. Look at that. Dwayne Wade injured, of course. Chris Bosh is like, out. Oh, it's LeBron. He's the worst. He's the worst luck, LeBron. Really? Oh, wow. Oh, my word. Now the heat are also on the ropes. Down 3-2. They're so injured, man. Oh, but the heat force a game seven. Yeah, we got some legendary LeBron stuff right here. It was a low scoring game seven at the half. The Bulls had a three point lead. At the end of the third quarter, the Heat had cut it to just a two point lead. LeBron was doing everything he could. He had 23, 10, 6, three steals with three and a half minutes remaining. His Heat were up one. Unfortunately, late in the game for the Bulls, it was an unlikely hero, Nate Robinson, slicing inside with the finish with just 25 seconds remaining. And to seal the game with 10 seconds left, Nate Rob bombed a triple, and the Bulls took game seven by six points. And the OKC Thunder do what they could never do in real life and win the championship. Good job. Only the LA Lakers advance on our racetrack after season three. They're up to spot number nine. They can smell victory. And they did so, by the way, on the back of Dwight Howard, who won DPOY and led the league in blocks. They also led the NBA as a team in points per game. I mean, it's right there for the Lakers to win this challenge, but they're gonna need to be great in the playoffs, man. Season four dunk contest upcoming. Let's see which teams we get. Mavs, Bucks, Heat, and Spurs. Let's go. Manu's been a pretty pleasant surprise here. That's a nice toss. I like it. I'm getting tired of that finish, but it's okay. Oh, for that, a little bit stingy. They gave my boy a 44. I'm a man of my word. I replaced Desmond Mason with this dude, Marcus Hessel. I've never even heard of this man. He does have an 80 dunk, which is uh, not as good as Desmond, but... <laughs> And a, a win mid. That's all these bucks do. And they somehow get, they gave him a 43. Okay. I think D Wade has been in every single dunk contest so far. That uh, random.org's getting crazy. I like the toss. The finish was kind of weak. No way. No way. They gave him a 50 for that, though? Josh Howard's got to come up big. A 50 would. Uh, uh, I've seen that dunk too many times. And it wasn't a 50, so I don't even have to make a tough decision. Congrats, Dwayne. Season 4, 2K8. Looking for an upgrade. Uh, college hoops. Do we get another banger like Texas was? Uh, no, we get a pretty... Well, this would be a banger, but it's a pretty classic Villanova versus Duke. Do they become our first two-time champs? And no, they do not. Villanova, big 19 point. That wouldn't have been a great game. Now, I'm pretty sure I know Villanova's in like Philly, right? So uh, I, I guess this is going to be Boston. Boston, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Wow. So Boston would have won with either Villanova or Duke. You kind of hate to see it. Final upgrade ahead of season four. We're going back to 2K11 situation. I swear, if I see the Spurs again, I might just randomize. Well, we don't see the Spurs, but we see the Mavs and the... I really want to see the Heat in action, though. Okay, is it too much to ask? Both these teams have shown themselves capable in these situations. Is Dirk really going to fire from the... Oh, he's isoing. Oh, Dirk. Oh, that was clunky, but it worked. All right. Why are these offensive sets so much better than NBA 2K23? Okay, well, never mind. Okay, yeah. Corey Maggetti, he is better than anyone on the game. Dirk Nowitzki, wide open, clean look, and he... Wow, that was a brick. What in the world? No way Corey... Ma Dude, Corey Maggetti just gets the ball and shoots. His tendencies are crazy, and they end up with a bucket. Corey Maggetti is not giving this rock up. Like, he is absolute... Oh, he did. Okay, hold on. Oh, it worked... <laughs> What have I seen? Andrew Bogut and one. Oh, uh, yo. Fair enough, Milwaukee. You're the GOATs. And on to season four, our second one here on NBA 2K13. The leaders in the clubhouse trying to close this thing out, the Lakers. They did lose Steve Nash, but still Dwight, Kobe, Powell. That's a formidable big three. The Bucks are also within striking distance and after again dominating their 2K11 situation, I gave Brandon Jennings this time a plus five. Him and Monte, man, a dynamic duo. The Mavericks, we don't really need to talk about. Uh, they added another absolute old timer in Ray Allen. They're going to be bad. I'm sorry, Dallas fans. Thanks to Villanova winning our college sim, we get a plus five boost for the Celtics. I gave it to Paul Pierce to bring him back up to an 87, but man, I don't know about this roster. Old man Chauncey. I can no longer offer predictions on the Spurs. They went ahead and acquired Andre Iguodala, and actually look at this. They become our first team eligible to run a full 82 plus starting lineup. So, uh, well, there you go. They get a spot even before the season starts. And lest I forget, last but not least, the Miami Heat. I 
gave Dwayne Wade a plus five boost, meaning the Heat have two players playing at a 99 overall. I mean, like they, they have to do something, right? They have to get involved in this challenge and get involved. They have LeBron with an MVP 29 again. Oh, he might've led the league in scoring too. Dwight Howard again wins DPOI, but it doesn't matter. That spot's already taken for the Lakers by Dwight. Oh my gosh. The Lakers missed the playoffs. I did. Okay. We finally had the year of the Miami Heat. They went 56 and 26, unfortunately missing out on the 60 win mark. And they didn't improve 10 wins year over year, but it's okay. None of our teams led the league in scoring. It's the freaking Timberwolves. Why are they simming so well? But in terms of player stats, LeBron did in fact win a scoring title, leading the league. Look at Monte there at fifth. Amazing. The Lakers went 36 and 46. The Celtics 34 and 48. The Mavs 33 and 4. Like they were bad. Does the year of the Miami Heat continue and let them get more spots on our racetrack or does Milwaukee uh, ruin our dreams here? And they do not. Milwaukee did take a game though. It's all good bucks. Y'all got uh, Giannis coming here pretty quickly. And I was hardly paying attention, but the Spurs also lost in round one. Too bad. Oh, you have got to be kidding me right now. Fatality. Oh, okay. All right. All right. All right. Who was paying off 2K here? Why is D? They are really good. Okay. Uh, you know, fair enough. I'm going to go ahead and guess any of our teams were going to get steamrolled by the Thunder in a rematch of the finals. They win two in a row. Congratulations, OKC. And I guess congratulations are still in order for the Heat, even though they disappointed because they do advance three spots. They're now at spot four on the racetrack. I mean, that's something. And they got there by winning 50 plus games, LeBron taking home MVP and winning, uh, leading the league in a stat. It was points. The only other team to do anything in that season was the Spurs, they advance one spot, and that was for Rockin' with an 82 plus overall starting five. Not that it really helped them. Only two seasons left. Let's get an upgrade for our dunk contest. Once again, are we gonna see some new teams yet? Lakers, Mavs, Bucks, Spurs. Actually, we have just one new team from our last dunk contest. Manu! Oh, my, was that a 540 or a 720? And yeah, that's an easy bro. Manu's coming for his crown. Bro, this man Marcus, he's got a tough act to follow. I Oh, wow. A double clutch reverse again. Whoever's in that purple Bucks jersey just keeps doing the same thing. Can Kobe Bryant beat Manu? That is, oh, that's nice. I kind of hope the judges don't give Kobe a 50 because I think I'm going to have to rob him again. As long as Josh Howard also doesn't whip out a 50 dunk, I think we're good. And yeah, what well, was that? was like a base. Hit. That was bad. Okay, but I hate to say it. I feel like I robbed Kobe twice. Manu literally defied fit. He spun so many times. I have to give it to him, right? Back for another final for national championship ahead of season five. Oh, and finally the Lakers might be getting blessed. Wait, where's Baylor? I don't know where is Baylor in Texas. I, I, I'm just embarrassing myself, but if Oregon wins, it's definitely the Lakers. We already know. And they do. They hold on by three. Shouts to the West Coast, baby. And please don't roast me. I don't know where Baylor's in Texas though. I'm just going to stop. And the final upgrade ahead of season five, we're back to a 2K11 scenario. If you don't show me the Heat and or Celtics, hopefully both eventually, I'm going to be so upset. I'm not, I'm not doing it. No, I'm not. I'm not looking at the Spurs who are 0 for a million and the Bucks ugly jerseys again. No, give thank you. Heat for Celtics. I don't even care. I don't care that I ignored the uh, random.org. This is what we all came here to see. 2011 Heat versus Celtics. Dwayne Wade. Oh, I thought he was about to end KG. Who's going to be the go-to? Wade or LeBron? All these teams seem to go to one player and it's Dwayne Wade in the clutch. Wow, that is telling. And D Wade is off. Get LeBron involved. Our guy LeBron James has not touched the ball. Chalmers one-on-one. -on -one. Chris Bosh inside. Tough finish. Chris Breezy. Finally, Ray Allen gets to touch the ball. What does Ray Allen do? Draws free throws. Fair enough. Brother, the 2011 Miami Heat do not trust LeBron at all. It's D Wade wide open. He bricked it. Oh my word. No timeout. So you got to go, Boston. Ray Jean, give that ball up. Give that ball. Ray Jean for three. Are you kidding? You had Ray running on the way. <laughs> what a game. That was worth it though. It's been a long journey, but welcome in finally to the current day, season five of our video. Wherein the LA Lakers are one spot away from winning the whole thing. And they got a plus five boost. Shout out to Oregon. Go Ducks, am I right, people? Uh -huh, I applied that plus five overall boost to Anthony Davis. The big shocker of this video has been the Milwaukee Bucks who enter the current era with arguably the best team on paper led by Giannis. And they're just two spots away. The Mavericks are very... Very, very interesting because we know they're guaranteed an MVP with Luka, but what else can they grab? They're in third place right now. They're within striking distance. The Celtics, not so much. They only have three spots on our racetrack, but uh, they should go deep in the playoffs. We know that at least. Now, thanks to Manu's masterclass in the dunk contest, the Spurs did get a plus five overall upgrade. I put it on Devin Vassell. And finally, we get to the Heat who have advanced four spots on the board. So they're in this competition if they have a big season. Oh, hey, what's up, Luka? Wow, I'm, I'm shocked that he 
won MVP. You see, it's funny because it's not shocking at all. Milwaukee Bucks didn't make the playoffs. They, they just didn't make the playoffs. I don't even know what to say. I have zero clue how the Bucks missed the playoffs. Their big three even stayed healthy. Like, that's just unexplainable. In terms of things to look out for in spots acquired, the Heat won 60 plus games, which LeBron and Wade couldn't even do. Shout out. The Lakers were really good. The Celtics were really good, but they already had those spots covered. The league leader in points per game is interesting. It was the Celtics. I kind of didn't see that coming, but that's another spot for them. And the final thing, even though they missed the playoffs, the Bucks are running five deep with 82 plus overalls. That's another spot. And same thing goes for the Celtics who are, yeah, five plus. Man, they have a really good line. Oh, also for those of you who are real keen and curious about the plus 10 wins year over year, I decided not to count it in between games because going from 2013 to 2023, it doesn't make sense to me. So yeah. And each of our user controlled teams is through round one. No drama there. In the East, we had our chalk matchup of teams competing to make this tough Miami Boston facing off against each other. Kyrie, Luka, and the Mavs, well, they had no problem advancing off to the conference finals. Uh-oh. And the Lakers find themselves in a spot of drama. But the Lakers showed up for game seven. Nah, they fell down early, then dominated the rest of the way. Whatever. And in short order, the Lakers found themselves right back behind the eight ball. And I don't think they're coming back. 3-0. Oh, and meanwhile, in the East, the Heat also lead 3-0. Oh, bruh. The scenes in this video. The Los Angeles Lakers have been eliminated. Oh, snap. We got a game seven, though. How did that happen, Miami? And it looked like Miami was continuing the trend with another choke. I mean, they were down huge. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. They were down huge. What? Just an insane choke by the Celtics in game seven, who only have a four-point lead now with two minutes left. Making the finals for either team would just be huge. Nah, wait. Nah, nah. Jimmy Butler just clamped you, Tatum. All right, they're going to let Tyler Hero cook. Oh, Tyler Hero's healthy again. I just noticed that. Well, maybe not. He just bricked. He sucks. I swear, if Hero shoots this... Yeah, oh, good dish. Wait a minute. Wait, no, I trusted Hero all along. Good stuff, Miami. Again, we're running pick and roll with Tyler Hero. Jimmy Butler is just not involved at all. Yo, Hero, you had a wide open lane and you missed the tip. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Bro, I do not know what Tyler Hero's doing out here. Kyle Lowry for the win. For the win. Oh, bubble butt missed it for the win. This is not looking promising. This it knew that's not looking pretty. He bricked that by like a mile. It was not even close. It's still super tight. No team. Miami with a one point lead minute and a half left. Bro, after watching all this 2K11 today, it literally feels like they're smarter players. That was a big shot for Marcus Smart. Though. Let me just put that behind me. Jim no way. No way. Why does he keep stepping back? It's so for just go to the rim. No way. No <laughs> No way, I just saw that. What are you doing, Kyle Lowry? Oh, yeah, good thinking, Miami. Just run a nice, uh, nice long offensive set there. Kevin Love, you bricked, he bricked the put back. Wow. I'll be honest, I don't want any more drama when it comes to this NBA Finals. Like, let's just get it over with. And actually, there was uh, a little bit of drama as the Boston Celtics won the NBA Finals in seven games. Um, Kyrie Irving dropped 51 points in game seven, and the Mavericks lost by 20. What? <laughs> Excuse me? Year five was an absolute banger of a season, not for the Lakers who failed to cross the finish line despite being so close. The Spurs too, well, they are losing this challenge. I'm sorry again, San Antonio fans. The Mavs had a tremendous season advancing three spots. They are a threat in this challenge. They did so thanks to Luka winning MVP and of course making a finals appearance. And the team that beat them in the finals, man, it was so important that the Celtics did because they advanced five spots. They too are just two spots away from winning. And they did so by leading the league in points as a team, having an 82 plus starting five. And of course, Mark marching down and winning a championship. The Bucks had a majorly disappointing season. They also could have closed things out. They do advance one spot and that was for boasting an 82 plus starting five. And finally, the Miami Heat. They are back in this challenge too for winning 60 plus games, winning two rounds in the playoffs and being the league's best team. Oh my gosh, we just had a player retirement that might shift the entire outcome of this video. Udonis Haslam finally calls it quits. And our final dunk contest ahead of season six, looking for a plus five upgrade. I think Kobe needs a shot at redemption. He'll get it. Celtics, Mavs, Lakers, Spurs. All right, Manu, can you win a third dunk contest out of six options? No, that was very weak. Okay. I chucked Paul Pierce into the dunk contest just so we can all have a good laugh. Yeah, what was that? I promise not to rob you if you get a legitimate 50 here. That's a nice toss. Give me the finish. Yeah, yeah, that's a 50. I gotta be a 50. It was beautiful and smooth. There it is, Kobe. I'm already penciling him in as the win. Wait, Josh Howard, don't use that as motivation though. Don't, that, that, that was smooth. Better not be a 50 though. And it is not. Thank you, judges. Ah, Kobe's fine. 
finally a dunk contest champion. That's nice. Our final 2K college hoops upgrade ahead of season six. Man, this is low key been fun. As we've got Baylor once again. I'm still pretty sure it's in Texas. Maybe I'll find out here. They're taking on Seton Hall. Don't know where Seton Hall is located, but we're about to find out. Seton Hall, I still don't know where am I zooming out from. Oh, it's like in it's in Pennsylvania. No, it's in New Jersey. Joyzy. Okay. And it's another upgrade for the Celtics. And our final upgrade of the video ahead of season six. We're back to a 2K11 scenario. I've seen Heat Celtics. I don't really care. Spurs Lakers. That's actually a banger. I've lost track at this point. The Spurs are at least 0-2, if not 0-3 in these 2K11 scenarios. And I'm pretty sure I keep calling it scenario. I think it's actually a situation. I don't know, but the Spurs are garbage and Tim Duncan finally does something. What an animation that was. Out in transition, Kobe. Oh my gosh, Kobe. He be Duncan. Kobe literally does everything. He's a goat. Oh, Pau Gasol, what a steal. Yo, San Antonio was finally trying to go to Duncan in the clutch. Oh my word, Kobe Bryant just did that. Bro, Kobe with the dunk contest and coming up huge in a situation. Big year for the Lakers coming up. The Lakers, another chance to win this challenge. They signed Kyrie Irving. Unbelievable. He left the Mavericks after dropping 51 in game seven. And because the Lakers finally got some luck in the upgrades, I gave plus five to Kyrie and plus five to Jared Vanderbilt. No LeBron, but they look pretty good. The Bucks really could have used an upgrade because their team didn't get any better in the offseason and they missed the playoffs last year. The Mavericks put forth a valiant effort, but losing Kyrie, they added nobody else. I have a hard time seeing them getting the uh, last two spots they need, but you never know. The Celtics are very interesting. Thanks to Seton Hall winning our college sim, we get a plus five boost. I gave it to Jalen Brown. They have the top end talent. They have the depth. Oh no, Lakers watch out. The Heat didn't do anything with their roster. They lost Kyle Lowry, of course. Jimmy's still a 98. Not sure. Ah, we'll see how they do. And finally, the Spurs, who yes, indeed, did draw draft Victor Wembinyama. They also added Draymond, Mike Conley. Um, yeah, may Maybe just a miracle run here, San Antonio. That would be fun. All right. So Luca won another MVP. Whoa, Victor. He is trying to turn around the Spurs. It's not over San Antonio. Okay. So the Lakers and the Mavs barely sneak in. Dallas is not done yet. Boston though is the ones you've got to be kidding. Miami missed the playoffs. How will this play out? Well, with our seven seeded Bucks falling in the first round. And same with the Mavericks. Okay, there's no Cinderella runs coming there. Even without LeBron, the Lakers were a beast, sweeping the Pelicans, advancing to the West Finals for the first time since 2K3. And the Boston Celtics also joined them there. As if they needed more history in their rivalry, the Celtics and Lakers meeting in the climactic NBA Finals of this video to determine a true champion. And the Lakers go up 3-0 after a nearly perfect season all around. The Celtics just had nothing for the Lakers in the finals, going down big in game seven on top of being down 3-0. And they'd have no recourse other than to watch their former star, Kyrie Irving, Anthony Davis, and all the Lakers celebrate a championship. How much pain can you endure? And on top of watching them celebrate the championship, Boston also had to watch as LA advanced one spot, crossing the finish line. They actually picked up two accomplishments in the final season, making the final and winning a ring at long last. Meaning if you want to be specific about it, the Lakers finished season six with 11 spots taken. Wow. I really had doubts on if the Lakers were going to win this thing because they choked so many times to close it out when they had a chance. Oh, well, uh, Jay, it's actually funny you should mention that because remember like two seconds ago when you said this, after a nearly perfect season all around, the Celtics just had nothing for the Lakers. A near perfect season, huh? <laughs> Ah, near perfect season. Well, I said that because the Celtics won 69 games, were far and away the best team in the NBA. So before the playoffs even started and the Lakers made their last second run to winning a ring, well, the Celtics actually crossed the finish line first. Yeah, they did. Before the playoffs, the finals actually meant nothing. They too finished with 11 spots in total, but the title and goal of this video do not lie. We were looking for the first team to cross the finish line and as dramatic as it got, despite me letting those playoffs play out and the Lakers win the finals, it was indeed the Boston Celtics at the end of the year six regular season, crossing the finish line first, making them champions of this video. And cue upset Laker fans absolutely hating me. I'm sorry. Okay, very quickly, the Celtics entered our final season with eight spots. The Lakers entered with nine. The Lakers would pass 10 and actually get to 11 by making the finals and winning a ring. But before any of that happened, the Celtics won 60 plus games, were the best team in the NBA and had a 10 win improvement year over year. Meaning I shouldn't have even included the playoffs because the Celtics had already crossed the finish line, but I just thought it was funny. So yeah, don't actually be mad at me. Boston won fair and square.